So in this video, I'm excited to show you a project that has added a lot of usable and practical space in my tiny van. So if you've seen my van deck build video, you know that I was recently with Johnny from Johnny's Journey to build that deck. And while I was there, she asked me if I had any other projects in mind. And of course I did what van build is truly ever finished. So she said, well, let me take a look and see what I can do. So I am excited to show you that in this video. One project that I have had in mind for quite a while now is some type of table that would serve as extra counter space as well as maybe a place where I could sit back and relax and watch Netflix or do computer work or something like that. And I have my bamboo table, which is great. I usually use that when there is no other space available outdoors. I can also use it inside, but it does take up quite a bit of room and it stores really well underneath my bed. It rolls down to about this big and fits quite nicely there. So I haven't really felt the need for it as much as a desire to have something indoors that would just double the usable space. So I have been looking at different things. One thought I had at, at one point was to mount a lagoon table where I took out the passenger seat. There's a bar going down the side and I thought that maybe I could mount that there. But then one of my tiny red van fans from Patreon, who now has her own channel, go check it out. Her name is Blue Wonder Lady. She had a very cool setup in her van where she had basically taken RV table mounting brackets and put them in various locations around her van. And then she had two different table tops that she could interchange or even put together and have tables all within her little minivan. And I went to Amazon right away and bought those mounting brackets without even knowing if they would work in my van. But I love the idea so much. And then when I was at Johnny's, she said, well, let me take a look. And she had a piece of old birch laying around and we cut it to size and sanded it and I polyurethaned it and we put the mounting brackets on it. And now I have a little table that can mount in various locations in my van. One of the areas that we mounted it was here where I usually have my stove top and I can still access this cabinet underneath, but the table goes across this way so that I can sit on my couch and access it that way. And we also put it along this way so that it basically extends the counter that way. This is what the table looks like when it's all put together. It folds down like this. One side basically has the mount on it. And then underneath I have this folding leg. The very interesting thing about the way that these holes lined up is that it worked out perfectly for when I have the table in one position, it needs to be here and just this much on the other side. So I was worried about that, how I would get a leg that would serve for both sides. And this one was the perfect one. I couldn't believe it. And basically to have this leg go upright, you pull on it like this and snap it up into place. And then to mount it, 
on this side, you just lift it a little bit like this and lay it down. Oops, nope, down one, there. And then to mount it the other way, you just lift and bring it around over here. And then on this side, it comes up one notch, the leg, so that it is level here. And then to dismount it, you just lift it a little and it comes off like that. The leg, you pull out and down. So then it's one little piece. And what I'm going to do is get one of those broom holders that will basically snap onto this. And I will be able to store this right here. Welcome to my office. So what I do is I know I can get about an hour's worth of editing done with a full charge on my computer. I can just recharge my computer then from my Jackery and that's how I do it when I'm out remotely. I don't have it plugged in while I'm running my editing program because it sucks a lot of juice. So I just let it wear down the battery and I know I get about an hour's worth of editing done this way. And then I just charge it up and then I do another. But it makes me take breaks, so it's really good to do it that way. And this is my view today. While I'm working. that you can just drive on this beach for miles. I might move down, I'm right at the entrance, so I might move down at the guy that I bought the permit from, because you need a permit to be on the beach. It's $10. He said down the ways a bit this way, there is hardly anybody even on the weekends. I'm here during the week, so it's not very crowded, but he says it does get crowded during the weekend, so just move down the beach and it should be fine. Yay. Mmm, good avocado. So on a day like today, it's good to just have fruit and veggies or whatever this... I don't know what an avocado is considered. I consider it good. Everybody asks me what this is. This is tahin. It's just a mixture of crushed peppers and let me see, sea salt, chili peppers, lime juice. Just makes it taste fun. And I have these bananas. and dried raisins, bananas, and avocado. That'll be a nice lunch, light and filling at the same time. And then I'll put it in, the, I'll put these biodegradable waste into this, which is a compostable bag, but it keeps it from getting any bugs in it until I can get it to a uh, garbage. That what do you think, Choco? So I hope you've enjoyed seeing how easy it is to add a little table to your van. 
As always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.